Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Korlick with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our quick shoot series. Hey guys, it's Adam here. And as you can see, I've got a big box. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you. You guys, you saw the title, you know what's going on. So uh, I'm gonna do this in pieces, but if you just wanna see the strict console unboxing and nothing else, skip to this time, okay? Because I'm gonna do this slowly, tell you a little bit of stories, etc. So if you don't care about any of that, just go to that time. Okay, so first up, got a couple of games here. I'm just gonna do like a mini unboxing of these. Rip right open into this. And the first one we have is Dead Rising 3, Day 1 Edition. These are kind of cool. I've never seen an Xbox One case before. They're kind of, I figured they'd be like solid green. They're kind of a transparent green. Kind of like halfway in between uh, an original Xbox case and an Xbox 360 case. Uh, the, the, si the molding of the case though is pretty much identical to a PS4 game. And we'll open up the other one. Why they shipped these all separately, I don't know. Because uh, they all arrived right now, right before I made this video. The other one is Rise, Son of Rome, also Day One Edition. Uh, these are the only two games I have for the Xbox One so far, uh, and I hope that more good games come out for it. Let me also say, by the way, let's keep fanboyism out of this, please. All right, I, last week I opened up a PS4, I've got one of those, a Wii U, I, I did last year, I still have it, I've got everything. Let's just enjoy a new console, okay? So let me put the games off to the side, or you know, can you see them there? No, you can't see them there. And they take up valuable real estate, so I'm gonna put them out of the way. Okay, so here it is. I got this from Amazon.com. Uh, I, I didn't, I didn't end up doing the whole camping out thing for any console this year or, or last year. It's the case with the Wii U. Just didn't want to. Okay, there it is. Look at that. Xbox One. The box is huge and really heavy. I think this thing is like 17 pounds according to my tracking number. All right, let's put that down and put that away. There we have the Xbox One Day One Edition with the black box. If you see a green box out there, those are the standard editions. Uh, the Day One Edition, it's the, the difference as I understand it is very minute. Uh, it's, uh, this comes with ooh, a special achievement which I don't care about, um, and the controller is slightly different, the box is slightly different. The, really, the only reason I ordered the Day 1 Edition was to have it on Day 1. Uh, the box has a handle, which is cool, though not that practical because the console is kind of heavy, where the PS4 didn't suffer that problem. The box is seriously like twice the length of the PS4 uh, box was. So, yeah, I, not that the size of the console matters, uh, but it's, it's worth noting. Um, so, like I said, I got this on Amazon.com, and uh, that's awesome for a couple of reasons. One, uh, there's, n there's no shipping, and there's no tax on it, and tax on a $500 console is going to be quite a bit of money. Um, I'm not sure why that works out that way, because I know I live in Illinois, and we pay sales tax, but for some reason, when we buy stuff off Amazon in Illinois, we don't have to pay sales tax on it, which, I don't know, but I'm glad to not have to pay that, just because that would have been, like, another, like, I don't, I don't know, it's been a lot of money. Um, and uh, on top of that, uh, I also, I did something kind of unorthodox when coming to pay for this thing. Uh, I, here's a good tip for people if you're looking to save a little bit of money on a, a premier or expensive item kind of like this. Um, in my daily life, I never use cash. I just use credit cards for everything. So when I'm walking around, every once in a while, I'll find like pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters. Um, American currency for uh, un-American, non-Americans, um, but I'm sure you guys can do this too. Uh, basically what I do is I just collect all this change and everything, like pennies, it doesn't matter. Pick up whatever you find, hold on to it, put it in a little coin jar, it, literally just for like years, just leave it there. And then you go to a Coinstar machine, and I'm sure some of you are thinking like Coinstar, the hell of Coinstar, they charge a fee. Yes they do if you want cash. But, if you're willing to take gift cards to, say, GameStop or Amazon, they don't charge you any fee whatsoever. So I just dumped all this change I had been collecting for, you know, years, and I uh, ended up getting $70 off this thing. So I ended up paying 430 which, I mean, you could argue that $70 is my money too, yes, but I see it as a discount because, I, like I said, I don't use cash ever, so it was free money that I found collectively. So, hey, what the hell? 430 bucks essentially, and uh, it's all mine, the Xbox One. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, and uh, hopefully we end up with having, uh, having a good console here. Um, so first up, I'm going to slit these points right there, and we'll get into this. Now, a lot of people were upset that I was decided to get an Xbox One because I actually did an Xbox One DRM rant a while back, which is true. If they had kept that DRM crap, I would never have bought one. But they did undo it, so I have to give them a legit chance here. I'm not going to just hate to hate. So here's hoping they end up making a good console. But right now, Microsoft, you guys got a lot to prove. But anyway, this flips up like this, and then it lifts up. And inside, we see... Well, first they show you the worst thing about the console, which is the friggin' Kinect, which I don't care about whatsoever. Yet, it's packed in with every single one of them. Um, let's take... Here, I'm gonna try and do it this way for you. Lift up like that, and out comes some paperwork. Here we have a headset, which was a last minute decision after they pissed everyone off with the DRM stuff. They decided to include a headset to try and justify the cost. Um, we have... Uh, Xbox Live Gold stuff and more instructions, day one coupon code thing, more paperwork. Um, up here, like I said, we got the Kinect. Take that out like that. And take off this little plastic thing. And there we have the Pointless Kinect. This thing is not getting good reviews so far, but I haven't used it myself. Although I will admit it looks a lot nicer than the old piece of junk one. Um, okay. we have under that, we have the power cable, well, part of the power cable. We have the power cable, and then we have the power supply. Uh, this is an external power supply, unlike, say, the PlayStation 4, which has an internal power supply. Um, let's see here. And then we have the HDMI cable, and we have the controller. I feel ridiculous with this thing just, like, hugging up on my face. Anyway, so get past that, and we have... The controller, which I have never held the Xbox One controller until now. It feels good. It feels like a nice, solid controller. My, that's my first reaction to it. I like, so far I like this. Um, there you go. You can see it up close, although you guys, I'm sure you guys have seen, all seen it by now. Um, my, I, without even using it, I can already tell you the stupidest thing about this controller is that it uses standard AA batteries. Why this doesn't have an internal rechargeable battery in 2013, which, you know, it says 2013 on the friggin' controller. Why they decided not to go with internal batteries is beyond me. However, you can get a play and charge kit. I did order one of those, but it has not arrived yet, so... And uh, thanks to an Amazon promotion, I ended up getting it for $5 instead of 25 so I look forward to getting that. But anyway, so far, I like the controller, although it also uses, I think it's micro uh, USB, which is stupid because that's a flimsy connection. Or mini USB. I can't. I, I can't remember the difference. One of them's good. One of them sucks. Um, the one on the PS3 controller is good. I know I'm coming off like I'm like really into Sony. I'm not. I'm just trying to give you guys something to compare it to. Uh, it does come with a couple of batteries. They're Duracell. They're not generic battery battery brand battery pieces of crap. Uh, so kudos to them for that. More insert stuff. And then we get underneath that. We get to this compartment area, which comes out like that. And then we see the console with foam inserts and uh, nice wrapping. So just lift this up right out of here, best I can, which slides up. Okay, put the box away for space. All right, there we have the system, which so far is huge. And we unwrap this, and inside we have, as I can get to it, the Xbox One. There we go. Look at this. There we have it. The final console of the eighth generation is now out, and I now have it. Wow. So it, it looks. I, I still like the design of this thing. I think it looks pretty good. It's huge. I do wonder why that is, but I will talk about more of my thoughts on the console after I've used it. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is just an unboxing, just to give you guys a. A first impression, if you will. I have to go use this thing to give you guys more information, and I definitely will. Stay tuned for more videos. I realize the unboxing's over, but I wanted to show you a couple of things I probably should have mentioned. One is the Xbox One sticker, which I completely forgot to mention as I didn't even notice it. And uh, two, just a quick look at the uh, ports on the back in case those are anybody's curious. You have the proprietary power supply, which I think is a very stupid design. 
because it's not universal at all, but unfortunately that's what they did. You have uh, HDMI out, you have audio digital out, you have HDMI in, which I'm excited to try this because this will make the Xbox One stand out in a way that no other console ever has, and hopefully it ends up being really cool and useful. A couple of USB 3.0 ports, the Kinect sensor port, which fuck you, I don't want the Kinect. Um, IR blaster out if you're TV system, I think they said something about if it needs it, they put that on there just for you. Uh, Ethernet port, which is great. Um, here is where I believe the hard drive is, but you can't get to it because they locked it out. Why the hell they did that, I don't know. Um, and another USB 3.0 port for the front, which uh, my initial reaction is I'm glad they put that one there because they didn't put any others on the front, which is kind of a mistake as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and for those who are concerned about how to turn it on, I'll talk about this in another video, but uh, you, you just push this little sensor pad here. Originally, this thing didn't have a power button. You needed the Kinect to turn it on. And after everybody decided to just rip on the Kinect and hate on the Kinect, they had to remove it, or they had to change that. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have an Xbox One, uh, do me a favor. Machinima has an app out right now for the Xbox One. It's the only game uh, video app that is available. And they've decided to premiere our Game Society Pimp content on it. So it would do me a huge favor. You guys go install that app. You watch some more videos. Really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching.